everybody, this is ShimaGeek1017 here to give you a small little preview of iOS 9.0.4 beta. Uh, you can go to Apple's website at beta.apple.com uh, with your device, whether it be the iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch to d download and install on your, on your device right there and uh, give it a whirl there. I've put it on here onto this iPad Air 2 as you can see right here and even this uh, little uh, on this iPhone 5S that we're recording on right now has even got uh, 9.0 on it as well. So uh, without further ado, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look of what it's going to do. It's going to settings. And uh, in settings right here, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look and see what's in, what, what, uh, what's in here and so forth. So let's look at software update. And uh, as a verification there, you can see that we are working with 9.0. Um, go back in general right here. Really nothing has changed in this profile right here. If you look on the left hand side right here, you can see that, that there have been some little changes uh, put into it here. For example, like notifications off to your left hand side where I just tapped on it right here. And not really in that it's been changed, it just got a cosmetic overhaul per se. Uh, instead of that bland color like you saw in the, in the uh, control panel, or I'm sorry, control center, it, uh, instead of gray, now it's a red color right there. So that's the only real big difference you see with notifications there. Scrolling down a little bit here, you got battery. Battery, as you can see right here, it give, it, you can get a percentage on your iPad or even your iPhone right here. I'm gonna tilt the iPad down a little bit there. Hopefully you can see it. Okay, you can barely see it right here. Battery and the percentage. And uh, you know, it just gives you a nice little percentage right here. The iPad is actually on the, uh, on the, on the stand right here, kind of like a miniature iMac. That's why I'm able to tilt up and down right here. So that's another feature that's in the, again, this is all in the settings menu here. Another one is uh, wallet and pay. You tap on that, it shows your information, uh, how you're paying there with your credit card and, and everything else. Scrolling down a little bit more. Another one is news, the news app. That's brand new uh, to the feature right here. And uh, you can see what, uh, you know, you got the notifications, background, app refresh, et cetera, et cetera. And hence the name news, it uh, shows a lot of things that's news re related right there. So let's go ahead and get out settings. Yeah, right here, yeah. what's for you. And of course, there's a Safari app right here. So I'm going to get out this right here. And uh, you notice that the Safari went that way and the split screen went to the, went to the right right there. You know, it closed both applications at the same time right here. Uh, notes. Let's go into notes. Here's something that a lot of people seem like they use a lot. And you notice when I open up notes, it came right back onto the news app, given the split screen. 9.0 realizes that you were still in two applications right there, and it will open in both applications, being the news app for me, and in, uh, now the new notes, notes app, off to the left right there. But I don't want that. I want my full screen, so I just get rid of that altogether. Now notes, it's got a little bit of an upgrade right here. And uh, on the bottom left, right hand corner, you can barely see it. You got the camera and you got some scribbly things right here. This is something that I think a lot of people will like, especially if they use uh, notes a lot. You tap on that. Here's my blank piece of paper and you notice you get some drawing materials right here. I got a pen, I got a felt tip marker, chisel marker, I got a pencil, I got a ruler, I got an eraser and multiple colors across the bottom right there. And you know what, I'm gonna use a marker, black, and again, my name is Shima Geek, so Shima, oops, should be a G, Shima Geek 1017. That's pretty cool. I mean, now that's something that you can work with a lot. You know, those of you that uses the notes application instead of typing, now you can write onto your onto your uh, note page right here. You can erase it. Or on top right here, I don't know if you can see it or not, but on top, uh, kind of in the middle there, you got to erase all, which will erase everything right there. Um, that's, you know, again, that's something a lot of people that, if they use notes, that's something they'll probably like. And then, you, you, of course, you push done. You can also, uh, if you are typing away, and uh, off to the left right here, you can insert a page. You know, I got this little square right here. So let me see if I could tap on that. And uh, you can see right here, I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me kind of move this up. iPhone 5 this is on a miniature tripod. Let me zoom in, focus onto this. 
And uh, what I did right here is I pretty much did a quick co uh, copy and paste of this website right here. So that's, uh, again, that's on the keyboard. And uh, again, it's pretty cool on how they did that right there. And I'm just going to delete that. Okay. And again, that's off to the left-hand corner right here. I can go back. Boom, there was an address right there. and get rid of that. If I want to insert a picture, you know, take a picture of a library, however I want to do it. So this is, you know, something that's been upgraded with the, uh, with the notes. Um, little check mark right there, kind of give you a listings. Whatever you want to do, Darren. It seems like they really opened the, opened the doors with notes for those who, who, who does use notes quite a bit right there. Let me get out this right here. Okay. And kind of the last thing I want to show you is video. And uh, video, your movies that you bought from iTunes and, uh, you know, you got it on your iPad. And you want to watch there and you're on the travel, whatever, whatever. Uh, as you can see, I'm a huge Battlestar Galactica fan. I'm, this is probably one of my favorite movies, Razor. I think this is really good, very, um, very tense slash dramatic, really good. I mean, it just had a great story there and how they made it there. And I'm going to watch this movie. So I'm going to tap on that. Let it do its thing for a few minutes here. I'm going to kind of drink a little Pepsi. Give me a second. While this thing is loading. And here we go. we got the movie running right here. But you know what? I need to go back onto the website there. And that's something I don't want to do again. I can do multitask. But I want to watch the movie while I'm surfing the internet. Can I do that? You sure can. By hitting that little button right there on the bottom. And again, you can see this right here, this little icon. Let me tap on this. It goes back into full screen. Again, I tap on the screen. It's right here on the bottom right-hand corner. I just tap on that. It goes into a miniature split screen. And now I can get out the videos menu and go into whatever application I wish to go into. For example, Safari right there. And I'm still watching the movie. I can move the movie wherever I want to do. So it's kind of like FaceTime. Whenever you're, you're doing a FaceTime chat with your family or friends, you can move your little camera features wherever on the screen there. That way you can see wherever you want to go or you know, maybe put on someone's face or whatever. So again, multitask has really been improved right here. I really like how Apple put this and kind of, I think they heard a lot of people and took it into consideration and boom, here we go. I can watch a movie. I can surf the internet at the same time. I'm set to roll. I mean, this is really cool. I get on the internet. I'm still watching the movie. You know what? I'm done with the movie. Guess what? Exit out. I'm done. So again, this is a little preview of 9.0. Um, there's more to it there. Um, that's still I'm still playing around with it there, and uh, probably in the near future I'll probably uh, post another video of uh, more details of 9.0. So again, this is Shima Geek 1017 here, giving you a small little preview of iOS 9.0.4. I uh, hope you liked the, liked, the, liked the video here. Give me a thumbs up, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one, Daryl. Have a great day. Peace.